What is up guys? I'm Sean and today I wanted to talk to you about starseeds again. Um, so I, I made a video about um, about starseeds and about uh, why they forgot things when they incarnated here and why everybody forgets things. And I also made a video about uh, the starseed contract. And so I've been talking about starseeds and what starseeds are doing and um, uh, I had this amazing conversation with this guy. Uh, actually, I don't know if it was a guy, but uh, I had this conversation with this person and uh, they made me realize that um, they thought that I was saying that starseeds are special in some way. And so I wanted to make this video to kind of clear that up because I was not trying to give that impression at all. Um, uh, because if you think you're special as a starseed, well, you're wrong because uh, we're all special, right? And uh, my cocky little, right? Um, we're, we're, all, we're all special. We're all as special as the, the person next to us. And, you know, like when... Like my mom told me she that I was special when I was growing up, and uh, you know she was right. Um, we're all special, and so star seeds are they they are an advanced soul, so they're they're further down that journey. Um, they didn't have to come back to this density of consciousness. There's a sacrifice that was made there by the star seed in order to come back, but it's not about um, it's not about them being better, uh, further along the path in an infinite eternal path doesn't mean much, right? Like, uh, there's not a lot of meaning behind somebody being a little bit further down on a path that is uh, uh, infinitely long, that runs for eternity. Um, and so when, when our souls are evolving, we start out at lower consciousness densities and we start to like evolve through, um, we, uh, we eventually come to a point where we need to uh, really change what we're doing to start to polarize our soul um, into a more service to others oriented way. And so it becomes very difficult for us to do that as ourself, um, just in our own being and how we impact other beings around us. It becomes very, very difficult for us to karmically uh, do enough work, uh, enough polarization of our soul to be truly of service to others. And so that's where it comes in as we eventually get further down the gradation of consciousness. Um, I'm not down, but further up. Uh, we start to need to be able to do more work to polarize more to the light side. Um, and the service to self path is the dark side. And uh, that doesn't mean that it's the bad side, which is an interesting uh, thing and maybe a topic for another video, but uh, all is neutral. So. Um, you kind of kind of can think of it as two separate paths, but they always meet. So the darkness can't. Uh, if you go if you go the path of the dark as a soul, um, you can't go beyond a certain stage. There's too much entropy, and uh, essentially your soul can't polarize to the darkness enough because. Uh, the entropy is just too great and you can't be evil enough. There's just because the universe is made of love and so you you essentially it's not that you can't be evil enough, but you can't control and manipulate uh, to have others uh, kind of do in your name or do for you and for your pleasure or comfort or whatever um, You can't do that enough to polarize enough negatively not negatively, but um, towards the dark and towards service to self. If you polarize too much to service to self, um, then you'll, you'll, you'll be on that path, but you have to keep that up and you have to maintain it. And it becomes almost impossible. As the soul progresses along, they eventually realize, if I don't change my ways, I'll be here forever. And so they'll either literally just stagnate, um, which... Uh, I don't think that's typical. Typically, what they do is they just go, oh, okay, well, I guess I had it wrong. Um, and we know that from the uh, Law of One, the raw teachings. And so uh, I've talked about that a little bit, but there's there's a couple other um, people that speak on this subject. But the raw uh, material is really where I get a lot of this information from for, for that specific type of information around the densities and, and the, the evolution of souls and the metaphysics around that. Um, it's quite complicated. The, the material is really dense. I would say it's doctorate level metaphysics, um, so it's, it's not easy to consume it. Um, but I highly recommend it um, because it is really what forms the basis of, of how all of this works. Um, 
and you know you could be wondering like how do we know it's real how do we know that this and that and and you know the answer is really that we don't we don't know for sure um but uh, as we start to like find out the truth, we'll know what's true and what's not. We'll we'll just feel it in our heart, and and that's uh, that's kind of where I'm at now, and so that's how I feel about this, and and this is my explanation for um, why n none of us are special, um, star seeds or not star seeds or whatever. We're all at different points in the path, on the same path, and we're literally the same consciousness fragmenting itself, experiencing itself in infinite ways. And so if you can imagine that, that, you know, a star seed, they, they came back here to sacrifice, um, not to sacrifice uh, their graduation, but to ensure that they were being further of service to others. Um, and coming back to a density like this, that was so difficult for them, um, in order to be a way shower for people that have not necessarily gone through that awakening, um, that's, you know, there's a certain, um, you know, applaudable piece of that, right? Like it's, it's a good thing to do for other people to be that, uh, you know, to, you don't have, they didn't have to do that. Um, now the thing to remember is they are working towards that as part of their soul's journey. So, you know, in an, in a way it is selfish of them to, to be doing that, right? They are. Uh, evolving their soul and polarizing to the light by being of service to others and by being of service to others in a way that they don't need to do. This is one of the ultimate sacrifices um, as uh, graduation through densities occurs. One of the, the main things you can do is sacrifice all of your progress and then, you know, you forget and fall back and you kind of go back to, uh, you know, some of the hardest stuff that you've ever been through. And uh, the densities after the third are not super uh, full of catalyst. There's not a lot of pain, not a lot of pain. Um, uh, Ra has stated things like, for example, um, when a fourth density being uh, or entity actually dies, their, their, their body begins to die, they actually feel uh, like just like kind of tired and then they they die like that's it it's 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 so that's what we have to look forward to is like um this is is so slow it's such, such a slow density and uh there's so much happening at any given time and like um there's so many different ways that consciousness is expressing itself and it's all special it's all unique and it's all the same it's all one it's all one aspect of the infinite one creator, whether you call that God or universe, source, whatever you call that. And so there is no special. Um, there's just all special, right? Um, that's something that's so important. And so I just wanted to make this video because spiritual ego is something that <clears throat> I struggled with a lot when I was, you know, first starting to kind of be aware that I was kind of touching on some stuff. I was kind of becoming aware of things that other people didn't know. Right. And you start to kind of be like, well, I know this. Why can't everyone know this? And uh, you'd start to develop a I am special kind of complex almost. And it, it sneaks up on you because you think, oh, I'm I'm spiritual. I, I, that won't happen to me. And then it happens and it's almost inevitable. Um, the spiritual ego is a tricky, a tricky little guy and uh, sneaks sneaks their way in. And uh, any any time we're identifying with any type of label or form, like whether it's starseed or light worker or uh, anything at all, if like we're too concerned with what that f that label means to us and what that label means to us in respect to other people, that's when we're not we're missing the mark. Like forget about it. If if you're you're finding yourself like, oh well, I feel special because I'm a, I'm this or that, then you need to like back out of that a little bit. That's just my opinion. Um, no, from somebody who uh, spent a lot of time being like, oh, I'm, I'm kind of special though, but like, uh, oh, I'm kind of special, right guys? You know, like, yeah, I am kind of special. And so is everyone else and literally everything else is kind of special. Uh, the same amount of specialness, right? 
Um, and, and it took me a long time to like really get that. Um, and even like, <clears throat> even like myself, I would kind of say that and, f and say that cognitively, intellectually, but you know, it's the heart, right? You need to feel it. It's not about what you understand to be true intellectually. It's about feeling what is true in your heart space. Um, so that's all I got for you today. I'm going to be recording a lot more videos, a lot more stuff coming through with the channel. Um, now that I've been laid off, I have nothing to do but raise my kids and make content. So I'll be doing that. Um, and uh, I'm just looking forward to it. So let me know what you guys think of the videos. Uh, I'm going to try and mix it up a bit now that it's nicer weather. I'll be probably running around the town a bit. Uh, try to get some like different scenery. I don't know and uh, eventually do more interesting type of shots. But uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I uh, hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I'm gonna do a video as well about star seeds and light workers and the whole situation right now and what I think uh, is the best way to do it. Can you hear that noise? That's my dog just eating trees. I don't know if you can hear that, but he's just, don't eat the trees. Good boy. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Take care.